Hello everyone, I'm here, and I'm pretty sure no one else is, and that's okay. I am going to be doing some stuff today, but first I want to do something pretty cool, which is I'm going, I want to promote before doing anything. While well, I'm doing this thing here, la la la. <clears throat> Let me see. Video. Hey, hello everyone. I am streaming right now in, over in YouTube, Lake and Bio, and I'm going to be drawing me again for my uh, color wheel challenge thing. So you should come over. Okay. Still no one, but that's okay. We can. Uh, let me press this. Let me post this in here. Real. Hey, hello everyone. I am streaming right. Hey, hello everyone. Ah, <sighs> anywho, cha cha cha. Right now. Add topics. Let me see which topics I should add. Visual arts, sports, let's do wrestling, and uh, games. No, celebrities. Done. And I'm gonna share. I'm gonna do this better next time. For real. And um, so yeah. I'm gonna throw stuff at in X. Let me see. Sending to my friends. <sighs> Still zero views and that's okay. Live stream. So now, and we're gonna post it on TikTok too. Upload. We'll post them in stories. Hey, hey Ruby. Hey, Ruby, how you doing? Right, I'm done promoting. So, today we are going to be doing more parts of the... Hopefully, we're going to do a couple of things. Um, so, the first thing is that we're going to work on me again. We were doing the... Um, what's the name of it? We were doing the uh, the other characters first, uh, Nikki in Red, Becky, oh, oh, thank you. Um, Nikki in Red, um, Becky in Orange, and then we did Rhea, where's Rhea? Gigantic Rhea in Purple, Violet, it's Violet. And uh, right now we're gonna work on Mia Yin. 
or mission of the popular. So first off, I wanna measure. Hey, I'm Sonia. How you doing, sir? Uh, let me see. I should say here right now. Select layer, more selected, copy, go back, and then down here, clean and clear. Yeah, it's been a little bit, man. Uh, been just uh, working. I am trying to get into this and do a lot more work and stuff um so we have Ria I want to put them together so I can see what I did before so I know what style I'm working with and uh, I love that the more I do something the better I, I like how it's coming out okay so we have those three gals there um let's see Mia, I wrote her name wrong. <laughs> uh, Ruby, or uh, who has a lot of piercings? Uh, uh, Ria, Ria has a ton of piercings. It's kind of crazy the amount of piercings she has. Uh, let me see. I think we can go in. Okay, good. I'm just measuring so we have the same size again. Yeah, Ria has a lot of piercing. Um, she is gonna. Oh, Dracula! You want to see Dracula? Yes, Dracula is from the next, um, from the next comic. And uh, here's a page of the next comic. We are. I'm working on this. Is a uh, page one C which technically means that it's page three and uh, and we have um page 2b which is you know the last page uh the last page is just gonna be a big page of him just standing there um but yeah dracula is right there uh we're gonna be drawing dracula for a little bit in a little bit actually i can draw it at any time um okay so I'm Sonia, which one, and Ruby, which ones do you like? Do you like Dracula or you like Mia? Either or is fine with me. Which one would you like me to draw? This one? Or this one? Either is easy. And um, I also have some other stuff that I want to do, but we can do them later. I have to actually. Um, I have a, a a comic. I'm working on a comic, ten page comic that has coming on September. Uh, that is with another group. You want Dracula? Okay. And uh, ah, Ruby wants Ria. Oh, do you know what? Let's do me. Uh, let's let's uh, uh do uh, um what Ruby says. Let's run with uh, for with her because she's near here, and we're gonna be doing that. Okay. Anyway. So let's work on the Amir first. Okay. Making the dolly girls. Uh, yes. I I really enjoy them personally. Um I like drawing muscles and a lot of them. And I like that they really like they themselves like the 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 pieces I fully know that Mia is gonna love this one okay
And then we go to Pinterest right here next to in my other window. And let's see if I can find, oh my god. <laughs> I need to save this. Okay. Mia Jim. So who's Mia Jim? Mia Jim is oh she's a wrestler. Um I am looking for her colors now. She's pretty cool. Um she is half black, half Korean. And uh, she plays a lot of game video games. She's super cool. Uh, she follows me on Twitter. Uh, I have done a bunch of art for her before, and uh, she has. She's just pretty, pretty freaking cool. Um. Yes. She's right now uh, hanging out with the OC. And uh, hmm. I really, I really like her storyline. I really like her look. I really like her attitude. Is she my favorite? Um, for me, Mia. No, she's not my favorite, but she's uh, she's super cool. You know, as a person. Dude, a ton of wrestlers follow me. I mean, that's the cool thing of doing fun out of uh, wrestlers. The, the thing about wrestlers is that they are basically comic book artists, uh, comic book characters come to life. That's the main thing about them. That you need, that, that's all you need to know about wrestling. Um, I'm an artist new. You want to post more of my stuff? I like drawing her sometimes. Uh, Ruby, if you are following me on Twitter, let me know your stuff. I want to see your work. Okay. Send me a, send me a, tag me or send me a message or something. I would love to see your work. I'm always up for like seeing new artists or older artists or any artists really. But yeah, like what you have to know about wrestlers is that they're basically real life comic comic characters. Like in the whole sense of the word, they do everything. You know, yeah. I'm an artist. Um, yeah, basically that's that's the gist of it. That's the the basics of it. If you start treating it like a comic book, that's it. If you treat it like you know X Men or like any other comic book, to be honest, um, it's exactly the same thing, with more theatrics and stuff like that. And, uh, oh, nice. Yeah, Dakota is super nice. Uh, Charlie is, uh, and Selena is super nice, too. Um, okay. Hmm. Let me see. Ruby, what's your uh, um, name in Instagram? Oh, hold on. Did you send me something on Instagram or not? Hmm. Mm, haven't received anything. Hey. Yes, um, she doesn't have much of a story, like, like, um, she is, she likes the color blue, <laughs> uh, she doesn't have that much of a story, her story is tied to, um, what's her name, to AJ Styles, and to Carl Anderson, and uh, the other guy, I forget his name, to the Good Brothers. Oh, okay. Same name. Okay, let me look for your stuff, Ruby. Let me see. R B Y S T X 
others. Or is. Little for you. I cannot find you. Oh, because I wrote the wrong things. RB. 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 Y. S. Oh, there you are. I'm gonna follow you back. Oh, that's cool. Let me see. She's going to connect with. Oh, yeah. And uh, anyway. I always forget that she has a uh, H She likes to put the, the letters H B I C on her stuff. I mean it's a head body in charge. Yeah, sure, why not? You guys are posting more. I always like when people are, um, I, I like when people draw anyone. I doesn't matter what it is. Um, okay. If I if I if I can push anyone to do more art, it doesn't matter what kind of art it is. I'm perfectly fine. Like when people, uh, I used to teach art at college level, um, and there's always people that come and like, I don't know how to draw. Yes, you do how to draw. Every human knows how to draw. Like if you can write, that is a form of abstraction, and drawing is a form of abstract abstraction. So. What poses this? She does this thing where she puts her hands together to make an M, and I don't like her arm. Her arm is having a problem here. It's not right where it is right now. <sighs> okay, let me erase this arm because it's kind of hanging in the wrong place, and that's okay. She kind of does an M for me, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna make another layer, and I'm gonna make change the color just so I know where everything is fit. And uh, we're gonna make the skeleton here. So this is basically her skeleton. Um. In her hand, there's gonna be a little bit, she's gonna be a little bit to the side. Practice doesn't make perfect, practice makes you better. That's it. Perfection doesn't exist. You make, you know, you, it doesn't really matter. Arriving to perfection doesn't really matter. What matters is that you um, uh, express yourself. Okay. Just doing is fine. It doesn't matter. You don't need to get a job doing this. You you know, 
you don't need to do anything of the sort. You just need to have fun with it and express yourself. That's that's all you need to do. Okay, I'm gonna make her arms a little bit longer here. Because I made her Yeah. Um yeah, it just makes you better. Like mean, the idea of perfection like doesn't really exist. You know, not even AI is perfect. So you know, as long as you're having fun and expressing yourself and coming up with ideas and stuff like that, you're doing the most important thing any human can do. And uh, Okay, so we got her right arm, oh, and uh, let's move her left arm to here, so we have Let's make her arm a little bit longer here There Well, that's the point. You know, even if AI is not is not perfect, well, how can you be perfect? What makes you perfect is the you part. You know, like I like I'm always impressed when people like want to be special or want to be. Well, you're already special, dude. You're already good good at what you're doing. As long as you're human, yeah, everything is fine. It's, uh, works. Mm. Mm. Okay. So we're gonna have her arms. I want her arm to be a little bit longer. Okay. Let's do something here. Let's do some transform. Don't have to be drawing the same thing over and over. There's the M, yes, that's the M right there. There. Okay, and then the other end, let's work it a little bit here. Okay. I'm gonna delete, uh, erase this part here. Okay. So we're gonna erase this whole area here so I can have a better definition. Let me see. It's true because I'm not sure to be honest, but I like to draw whatever. That's fine. That's uh, what you should be drawing. What you like. And uh, sketching and painting, I mainly draw wrestlers since that's what super into, but like comic book and America. Hey. Wrestlers and uh, manga and stuff like that already is, you know, they all go hand in hand. They're so, they're so um, close that it's not even funny. Okay. Let me see. Hey, why not? Okay.
Let me see. Ah, you're fine. Does she has little spots here on her. And she has spots on her window. Okay. <clears throat> Gonna change this here. So glad that you two are talking. I wonder if I can bring this a little bit lower. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So we got Mia basically properly sketched. So we started with Mia here. Why can I see Mia? Oh, because I can't do that thing. So this was the original sketch with the original color. And now this is the finished one. So I'm gonna Can I bring her with a dump truck? I doubt that she's gonna complain. Hmm. Yes, so hopefully on Sunday we are going to be doing, um, Sunday we're going to be doing a uh, watercolor. Uh, the Superman we're going to work on, I'm going to work on it outside on my own because I want to do something specific with it for the new, for the new series in the channel. Uh, but on Sunday, like around 6, 6 or 8, 7, 
we're going to be doing this again and I hope to be doing watercolors for a project that I want just so you guys know um I haven't thought about getting this autograph at the rest of the, the cell phone one my, my color wheel um no they all getting it like they all have the files like uh, so far like um they all like it they you know I don't really want to print it and I really cannot sell them and stuff like that and uh, so yeah like my version of of uh, uh my version of autograph is having them like it or you know retweet or whatever that's like all that really matters to me that they like it okay there's selena we're gonna change selena from pink to light blue we're gonna take charlotte completely out sadly the next one is gonna be shotzi and uh, I am almost done just re redoing Ra uh, Raquel. Okay. Okay, let's pick up a good color. So everyone, though usually, yeah, everyone, almost everyone, like, you know, um, does a, a cross po um, a repost? Almost everyone does. Um, there are of times I get like you know clients from that to do t-shirts and stuff like that, or do other things. Um, I'm working on a couple of projects right now that I cannot tell you until they come out. So when they come out, you like it. Um, not that I don't trust anyone. Is that uh, you know, it's a longer story. I'll tell you later. Um, once it comes out, because it's gonna be super cool. Let's add a couple of lines here. Oops. And. Uh, let me see. Female Lucky, where, where do you saw the female Lucky? Because there's multiple female Luckies, depending on the show or the, or the thing. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's wrestling related. It's wrestling related. Um, you'll see it when it happens. Um, but I really cannot talk about it. Um, you like it. You really like it when you see it. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, the lucky helmet. That's uh, that's not a lucky helmet. Looks like a lucky helmet. That's uh, Shotzi. Shotzi uh, Blackheart. She is amazing. Um, she shaved her head uh, last uh, last week. Um, story wise, because she got into a fight with another wrestler, and she got. Uh, her head shaving. Um, in reality, it was that she shaved her head because uh, her sister is has cancer, and she shaved her head in uh, in uh, solidarity. So. Uh, let me show you sh uh, shot scene. Give me a moment.
You don't have to write the. I was gonna write Chef to Blackheart, but you know. I'm just gonna go home to uh, to her Insta. Hmm. Weird. Shots in. Mm-hmm. Wikipedia. Hold on a second. Let me get her. So this is shot scene. Um she's ridiculous. She's amazing. Uh that's uh that's her, she's another wrestler. Um that's her when she uh cut her hair and everything. Um, but that's her with the, with the helmet and everything. She appears a lot with her helmet and, um, but she's pretty amazing. She's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I cannot say nice enough nice things about Shotzi. Um, <clears throat> she comes to the stage, to the ring, in a tank uh, that she drives, and the tank, that cannon, that gun does work. And then she is howling at the moon while on her tank. She is that, that crazy. And uh, so, Shotzi is going to be, this is her, um, this is her uh, uh, sketch for when I draw her. So yes. Anyway, let's get back to Mia. Pretty cool that Selena has one of her. Yes, she does. She asked me for. Um, she asked me for the file, and I sent it to her. And, uh, so yeah. When will I draw her? Um, most likely next week, next uh, Thursday. But I'm gonna try to use, to uh, stream more often. Um, later at night. I usually what happens is that I draw all day, and then I relax in the evening by cooking and watching wrestling, and uh, so yeah. And then after that, I usually come back and do some work before going to bed. <sighs> no, Shops is it's, it's amazing. Like... Again, you know, shaving her head in on live TV in solidarity with her sister is just pretty impressive. And, you know, her hair is crazy cool. She's also a uh, Filipina. So she's Asian too, and uh, so yeah. I'm taking some time to relax. Yes, um, I cannot relax that much because I have things to do. Um, I'll try to get 
I always, I'm always trying to catch up, and there's always someone calling me to do something, and I, they usually want me to do something super cool, and I cannot say no. So I try to, I try to chill like every now and then. Usually when I watch wrestling, I take a, I take a break. Because, um, yeah, she shaved her hair in live TV because uh, uh, there was a storyline that she wanted to prove that she wasn't afraid of uh, shaving her hair, and uh, you know she shaved it because you know her sister has cancer. Um. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna draw the stencil part here and uh, I'm gonna do the the main colors um offline. Because I am sort of practicing a new technique of coloring and I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes and streaming and coloring I'm coming up with a new technique it's hard enough so I'm always trying to like make a better come up with better more efficient techniques so I can draw faster so I'm still kind of like Um, what's the name of it? Um, I'm still like perfecting that style, that technique, and I want to perfect it before I show it. HB and the I So when I'm, once I'm done drawing here, we're gonna go into Dracula, okay? Mm. I am missing this up. This is supposed to be shorter. Let me see what you're saying. Um, what is the technique? It's not really a technique. It's a basically it's a painterly style. Like, um, let me go back and show you. Like when I drew Nikki specifically, it's a really fast technique that basically you put down the colors and then you like carve out the um, the the shadows and the light, and uh, and then do highlights. Um, and then for Becky. I kind of did the same thing, but a little bit more advanced, you know, like way more work into it and like more co working with the colors. And then for Rhea, I kind of like really work on the painterly style. Um, 
and I did a lot more like melding and stuff like that. That's why usually don't much that, that much. And uh, so for me, I, I really wanted to look very, very, very. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you for that. No, I like really like that's that's gonna make me level up because I've been meaning to get that um to get that material. I am always trying to get better. Like there's no such thing as like sitting there and you are going to see you're going to see me uh like do things like learn materials and stuff like that so um i really want to learn topics i don't know much about them but we're gonna get i'm gonna get there um So yeah, you're gonna make, see me mess up a lot. Mm. So yeah, I just I just want to get better at not better at faster drawing. That's why I'm like like when I draw like draw me a game. I'm like choosing. So I want to get better at the iPad. and I want to get better and coloring with the with the what's the name of it um I'm pretty good at what I call it but I want to add um what's the name of that thing um I want to add uh markers oil markers alcohol markers I'm sorry um to my repertoire Plus you get a, um, you get a, uh, uh, a free commission out of it. I remember exactly what I said, but yeah, you're getting, you're getting one, dude. Um, <clears throat> you're really expert to me. I am expert. Like I am professional level. It's just that I want to become better. Like there's always like room to for improvement. This is my craft, and I have been working on it for basically all my life. And like, this is like the most important thing in my life to me. And uh, and I want to become better and better and better. I kind of like, um, you know, like a samurai, in that sense. Um, not really. I just I just really like my craft, and I really want to, you know, hone it to ridiculous levels and I want uh, like you know you know like those old samurais that were like all crazy and doing like I need to become better and stuff I need to learn this technique and stuff like that yeah it's the same thing I'm not a samurai but you know it's the same idea of you know becoming better and better just for the sake of the art Okay, so Mia is pretty much set. I need to fix a bunch of stuff, and I need to work on a lot of other things. But Mia is pretty much done on the pencil, on the pen, and the ink side. I'm gonna give her um black colors real quick, just so we can leave her with you know her flag colors and whatnot. Um. Looking for Mia. Yes. Yeah, of course you can fix them with anything you want. Um. So topics. Topics are like these old. Um, they're markers. Um, they're markers. Uh. And they are kind of like the industry standard of um uh, of markers when it comes to them. Um, the topic 
it's just something that everyone that does um that works really likes they are alcohol based rather than the the what's the new one? the watercolor which is water based and um so the water ba the the part that makes them uh, in, impressive is that they have a lot of range and they have a lot of like you can be you can push them kind of like like most uh, watercolor ma most markers they just put the color down and that's it these guys you can have a lot of flexibility um so that's why they are so so impressive and they are you know they are they they don't if they run out you can add you can uh, recharge them and refill them and whatnot um so yeah and um So for the main thing, I'm gonna give her yes. I want to get alcohol-based colors anyway. I have some alcohol-based colors, but there's only so much flexing they can do. Like when you color them, they are very basic. Um, when you color with a um, with the the copics, it's a different um. You can you can make you can bend them, basically, and that's what I want to practice the bending of the of the color. Hmm. I'm gonna pick up a grayer color for her pants. But I'm gonna add more blue to it. Um, no, a little bit darker. Yes, sir. You have no idea how much that much that means to me because getting those are ain't easy. Um. Okay, let me get the everything. I'm gonna get her bandana a little bit darker and her fingers. I'm gonna add, I may have to change the fingers a little bit later, but that's that's later. And we're gonna work on her pants later too. And uh, and we're gonna work on this stuff later too. On her uh, pants, letters, and stuff like that. And uh, this here. Okay. I think that we are pretty much set with uh, Mia. This is a good place to stop for Mia. Alright, let's go to Dracula. <sighs> Dracula. I think Ruby left, did she? Um. I, I think I can knock this one off real quick. Let me grab a blue that I like. Have a sippy. Blending the color, bending the color. Um, so when you have a marker, let's put it this one. Actually, I can show you real quick, right here. Like um, this is the color. The the. This is the brush I'm gonna use, right? And when I color with it, it's a solid color. I cannot, um, like, depending on the on the pressure I add, it's how thick the line is gonna be. That much is true, but 
that color is always the same. It doesn't change. Um, okay. And uh, so in watercolor, this is a fairly good facsimile. Well, I think Ruby left. Oh, or, or, or is she here? So in watercolor, this is a facsimile of, of watercolor. It's not a real watercolor, but it depends on how much pressure you add. It kind of imitates the color. Okay? So it's a little bit closer to um, to how Copics work. Okay? So if I put a, lot, a little bit of pressure, see, I'm going almost no pressure and nothing appears and now they start to appear and uh, whatever okay so this is all faithful yes very similar to that so this is all faithful all faithful when I draw with it see how if I go over it multiple times see what it's doing all Faithful is very similar to that. There's a little bit more drag in All Faithful, but that's kind of like it, how it works. So let's say that we have this color down. And I don't want this color, I want to mix it with a yellow. A bluish, a greenish yellow. See, so that's the main color. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm on, a, I'm on a, another layer, dude. It doesn't matter. I can draw on top of it. So I can like draw, I can like go over it with another color. And if I go deep, you know, it's kind of opaque. And if I go slow, it kind of takes the whole thing. Um, the main problem with them is that you cannot blend, which is not the same as bend. Like this is a blend when I mix the two colors. That's more of a something oil does. Not even watercolor does that well. Watercolor does it, but only when it's wet. Um, but the ones perfect for blending is it's blending, not bending. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I should call this the line. <sighs> okay. Yes, it, 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 it takes a lot on how much pressure I apply to each one, to each, each time, basically. So I can make different things. So anyway, I'm going to pick up Consistent Carl here. And we're going to start drawing. Let's bring a smaller. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. I'm always afraid when I start drawing. Before I start doing something in a new page or something like that, it always freaks me out a little bit. Like, I'm always like, shit, I don't know how to draw. Like, I kind of forget how to draw for like a second, and then I start putting lines down, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, this is super easy. So I'm always forgetting, you know, Oh, I changed the pen by mistake. Oh, good, Ruby. I'm glad that you're drawing. Once you're done drawing, if you want to show me your poster or something like that, that would be great. I would love to see that. It was <laughs> this one. Let me see.
Alright. Let me keep going here. Sorry, I got quiet for a second here. I, I'm concentrating on Jeff. Hmm. Let me do the same here. Uh, let me see. Is Rekina going to be a character we see in Emma comics? Um, I cannot tell you, mostly because I don't know. But he is going to be an important character. I'm gonna erase this part here. I'm gonna work rework his type because this is a very very fat type. <clears throat> This is a better guy. So of course you will have a Winsor time. Okay, let me see what you guys are talking about. Um, is he gonna be in the Night Detective as a boss master? Um, yeah, most likely. I don't know right now, cause I don't know. I don't know half of everything. Like I told you, like I usually don't read the scripts. I'm just as surprised when I read the comics. I know what is gonna happen, like action ones that I like to do. They're very similar to Marvel comics back in the day. Um, like the way Marvel used to to do comics, the Marvel way. Let me see. Let me see if Andy and Will Simmons change. I don't know. Uh, just I will post your answer on Twitter. Yes, please. Uh, but anywho, you know what? I went. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um. Let me erase this part here. Okay. Good, 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 good. 
Mm. Okay. We're going to... Okay, let me. Oh, oops. Oops. Let me get this here. So I'm not paying that much attention, I'm just drawing this part and it's a little bit difficult. It requires a little bit of my attention. Okay. And then this part here. Alright, so let me see what you guys are talking about. Um, the way Marvel used to be before it fell down, you know, Liam and Mystical said, Next time when you draw, I'm going to do the same. Obviously, I'm going to do more tomorrow. <laughs> well, yes. No worries, dude. Concentrate on be here saying three. Yeah, keep saying random stuff. It's almost entertaining. So, uh, let's draw the face of Dracula. Give me a second, I need to check something over here. Just a moment. I'm just checking how this um, ink here does certain things. Yes. Okay. Most Osamu, which one is Osamu? Is, uh, uh, is that from um, Osamu from uh, Irma?
Yes. I don't know. Possibly. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not the writer, so... That would be actually pretty cool if he did. I love giving um giving these uh weird details and stuff like that in this here. I love doing that kind of stuff. Thank you, sir. Thank you, and uh, we'll see one of my favorite tricks in a second. It's not a trick; it's actually fairly well known. <laughs> Let me see. Let's see what you're saying. <clears throat> How are you doing over there, Ruby? I would not say random stuff, but I'm just watching now. Thank you.
to add in more weight to some of the lines. Good, 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 good. You see, turn on some lo fi watching perfectly with this. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Okay, so now we are going to select this whole area, we're going to copy and we're going to paste it, and then we're going to move it down here. We're gonna go back here, we're gonna look at the part. Even when I copy paste, I love to work work specifically the, the hair. So there's a set amount of, amount of difference between one and the other like it's very minimal and it, you have to look for it but it still registers okay we're gonna put them together and then we're gonna bring it down a little bit and then we're gonna Technically, erase. There we go, and then again. Let's bring it. The big reason why he is he's Dracula. You have to like work on the, the scary part. Hmm. You know what? Let's see something here. In the original um, layout, this guy was going to be pretty. I decided to make it a hunchback. Because I really wanted to draw a hunchback.
When I'll be ready, I'm planning on finishing tonight. Or tomorrow night. Most likely it's gonna be done tomorrow night, but most likely it's gonna come out uh, next week. It's not a big chapter. Most of it is already done. I only have like two pages, three pages to draw. Like in fact, if I push myself, it will be done by tomorrow, by tonight. Mm, let me see. Let me see. Uh, done by tomorrow, yeah, but I don't think it's gonna be print, uh, published tomorrow. Let's see, uh, this is going to be in hashtag. I was gonna draw him without pants, but then I was like, eh, Dracula would give him pants. Or I would say like, dude, go steal some pants somewhere. I don't care. I don't want to see you without pants.
He's not being gracious. He's just being grossed out. <laughs> it's like, I go, Igor, I do not want to see your naked ass. But Buster, no, 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 no. Put on some pants. Uh, Igor, it's tired of wearing pants. Igor never liked pants. I don't care. Put on some pants. Can it be like sweatpants, Buster? No! I found these pants from some hitchhiker that I killed. They're wearing them. Oh, skinny jeans again? I don't like it. Can you buy and kill someone from New Jersey? Ah, uh, so annoying. I love role playing really strange characters. Usually, when I play Dungeons and Dragons and stuff like that, um, I usually play the character that no one wants to play. Um, I usually play the cleric. Um, if there's a cleric or a, or a druid and it's someone that knows what they're doing, then I will let them uh, play the cleric. It's just that the cleric is too hard to, it's too important to have someone that doesn't know what they're doing. Um, So, I usually play the cleric. Um, if not, I will play the bard. Because, to be honest, like there's there's the tank and stuff like that, and always. But the tank and, and, and the fighter and stuff like that, they're e super easy to play. And a lot of people, you know, I, I want, if there's noobs, I want them to play those guys. Um, uh, Actually, let me. I'm gonna change his eyes a little bit. The, you don't like the cleric? <laughs> you think that the cleric is mad? The cleric is not mad. The cleric is someone going to win, no matter what. If there's someone who wins in this game, in the Dungeons and Dungeons and Dragons, is the cleric. Yeah, no worry, man. I'll be here.
Okay. Oh, I'm saying she's basically done. Okay. After this is done, I am going to go grab some dinner. This is time for dinner. Uh, let me see. Hmm. Okay. I think we're pretty much set here. The background is very specific, and uh, I'll be tackling it later. Mm. <laughs> All right. I think that we're done for tonight here. Um, this is the color wheel. Then I am going to work on later again. But I really like how it came out. There we go. And uh, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I have to get going. When you're not around, I want to say goodbye. And, uh, and really, if you're around, it's also, it was also, also awesome to see you. And, uh, and to meet you for the first time. And uh, so, yeah. Um, but I'm going to get going. Because I do need to grab some dinner. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to eat. <sighs> but anyway, oh my god, <laughs> I'm gonna get going, okay guys, and uh, I'm sorry, I'll talk to you later and everything, great to see you both, and uh, hopefully you'll be here by on next, uh, next Sunday for more 